And uh, at the score table, we just got a word in that uh, you were questionable to return with back injured right about the time. So you trot back in to check back in the game. How close were you to maybe saying, hey, I'm good tonight and then not, not playing out this game? Um, I mean, I wanted to play. I felt like first few minutes, uh, we had a good rhythm going. I felt like I was seeing the floor well. So I wanted to play pretty badly. Um, but how I was feeling, how I was moving in the locker room, you know, things like that. Medical staff was just, you know, trying to be cautious and, and make sure I wasn't, you know, getting in my own way, you know what I'm saying, and setting myself up. So uh, eventually I just kind of ran out. And um, <laughs> I mean, they, <laughs> It was just like, well, he he left. So at that point, uh, I was trying to get back out there, try to help. In games like this, where you know getting up to five points in the first half and dealing with that a little bit, as the game moves along, do you feel yourself loosening up, or do you just feel yourself in a rhythm where you forget about what you're dealing with? Or, or how much was that? Was it still playing? Yeah, um, standing up, moving around is what felt better. Uh, sitting down like this um is what kind of makes it made it feel like it was stiffening up so i mean i i wanted to get out there i didn't want to sit through halftime and, and try to see what was going on i wanted to get back moving and get back uh out there so um because i felt like that's what would feel the best at the end of the day you have great respect for the other guys in this game that have maybe come before the guys that you've watched play for a while got like kevin Durant, obviously the texas guy you, you've seen play uh you trade buckets with him in the second half Put your team, you know, punch counter punch. How much you relish those opportunities against you could make maybe the best uh, pure shooter in the game right now? Yeah, um, I mean, you know, that's that's one of the the legends of the game at this point. Um, he's done so much in in basketball in the NBA. So uh, to be on the court with him and, and you know to be competing against him, you know, in itself is is a big stage. And um, you know, my teammates and I, we work really hard. To, to compete with teams and, you know, on a stage like this, playing the Nets, um, him, Kyrie, they got, you know, a roster full of guys that can, that have done a lot in this league. So um, I didn't want to leave my teammates behind. And, you know, I wanted to try to help. And second half, I got going and things started flowing for me. Okay, a lot of people have asked you about rookie of the year, and I know it's important to you, but I'm sure you got into this game for the bigger goals for yourself individually uh, as a team. And I'm just curious, what did you, what have you learned about yourself from this rookie season in route to uh, getting to those dreams in just the early stage? Um, I'll say more than anything, it's it's my perseverance through uh, struggles, through you know the noise and everything. Uh, just you know, focusing in on on who I am and and you know working on myself and not paying attention to you know other people's perspective of me more than anything. So, you know, I feel like just going through that and, and you know, trying to stay strong, trying to stay within the team and, and worry about what's going on internally with us, you know, that's what's helped me, um, you know, be able to figure things out and help my teammates more because they stuck beside me and, and they've continued to encourage me. So, you know, if that's going on, you know, it's, it's easy to play confident and play free and just go do what I do. You know, the stuff people were saying at the beginning of the year, I know we've talked about it, but how much it like bothered you to like, people that quick to jump to conclusions. Was that the first time in your career that like you were, I mean, college, high school, that like people questioned you and what your abilities? Um, people, people have always tried to, you know, downplay me just because I'm not going to my legs and, you know what I'm saying? Dunking dudes crazy. So people have always, you know, maybe my style of play has been what, what people haven't, um, it's not their favorite style of play, maybe. Uh, but you know, I I think with the whole like rookie of the year thing and, and you know people downplaying me early on, like I I never let it get to my head. Um, it's rookie of the year, not rookie of the first three weeks, anyway. So you know, I try to play. I try to you know just lock in. I know it's gonna be a long season. I didn't want to hit a rookie wall. I just wanted to keep getting better and stay consistent. Last thing for me, what have you learned? about the game that you maybe weren't able to think about because you just hadn't gone through it, that maybe you didn't plan for about the NBA and what you've gone through? Um, I'd say probably just the overall pace was something that I had to adjust to early on, just finding, you know, when I was shooting, when 
what time are we trying to get shots up, things like that, because 24 seconds instead of 35. So maybe not, right, right. Maybe not the players just being faster and quicker than college. College has a lot of, you know, athletic guys too, but just the overall pace of the game, um, being back and forth as much. I think that was something that, that I really needed to adjust to. And then, of course, my teammates. I try to, you know, play for my team, play for to for us to win. Um, and chemistry is everything. Knowing who I'm passing to, where they want it, is something that I try to take pride in. And, you know, it took me a little time to to get going. And I'm still trying to learn everybody, um, trying to cut my turnovers and stuff down. But, you know, it's all a process. And, and we're young. We're growing. Yeah. We'll go to Zoom. Keith, go ahead. Hey, Kate, I, I noticed at the end of the game that immediately you Durant came to you and gave you a hug and said something and Kyrie came to you. Does that tell you that you won some some respect from those guys? What does that mean to you and, and what what might they have said to you? Um, you no, know, they told me stay healthy, keep working. Um, I was saying the same thing back. I have a lot of respect for their game and what they've done in this game. Um and, you know, I'm, I'm out there just playing for my team and, you know, trying to represent my family and, and the Pistons. So uh, I think they respect that. And, you know, me and KD have been, have, you know, been able to talk throughout the last couple of years and been able to um, connect with each other. And, you know, as a, as a kid coming out of high school, out of college, um, you know, connecting with one of the top players in the world um, meant a lot to me and to be able to comp be competing against them and, you know, trying to put on the show means a lot as well. So, uh, you know, it's all love and respect at the end of the day. Take one last question from Maury. Okay, hey, one thing Dwayne Casey said often this season, and he said it before tonight's game, is that you have it. Somebody asked him why you should be rookie of the year and Dwayne said you have it. To you, what is it? I think just being um, somebody that, you know, can can translate to any team, to any position, to any, you know, group of guys, to any situation. Um, and I play to win. I think, you know, there's there's a lot of guys that play to win in this league, but, but not everybody that's super talented, you know, probably does that. And I think, you know, just the way that I play, the way that I compete, um, it shows that, uh, you know, I, I try to put my team first. Um, and sometimes in that, you know, I, I try to go, you know, help my team by me, you know, going and doing it myself. And, you know, my teammates encourage that. They allow me to go be me. And, you know, the fact that <laughs> I'm doing what I'm doing, I mean, you know, I think just my game will speak for itself. I don't, I don't know what he meant by it, but I think my game will speak for itself. So, Chuck, how, you, how you feeling after uh, after this game? Kind of putting them on notice, but uh, not not having to go anywhere there. Anymore. I mean, really disappointed to be honest. You know, I felt like, um, you know, we all wanted to win that game, so um, you know, just walking away, just looking at the things we could correct, pretty much. I know this isn't about uh, more victories and things of that nature, but you look at the stretch of games you guys have played. And you guys have had, uh, I believe, 12 single-digit uh, games coming out of the All-Star break against a team like Brooklyn, who's getting close to the full health and, and expects to be one of the teams still standing there in the Eastern Conference. Do games like this give you and your guys a little bit of confidence to believe that you're not that far off? Yeah, most definitely. Um, you know, I feel like you know we just competed against one of the top teams in the East you know, with their stars. So. Uh, you know, I just kind of let us know where we're at right now. 
What did make up the absence of King was able to give you guys tonight, despite being hampered by a, a back injury? Um, no, he uh, he a warrior for that. You know, he fought through the back injury, knowing that we we needed him out there on the court. So, uh, you know, I respect I respect Deuce for playing through that. I mean, we talk a lot about the future with you guys and, and what it could be, what it could look like. And with t- tonight, we see a situation where you come out, you hit a bunch of threes early. Uh, K takes over in the second half. Sadiq is just consistent throughout the game. Killian, great defense. Frank comes off the bench and is kind of gets going. Was this like the first glimpse into like what it could look like as you guys mature and everybody in their roles and and just kind of where you guys are headed if if everything continues to on the same track today? Yeah. Most definitely, you know, everybody knows what they're capable of doing. And, you know, as we continue to grow into our roles and, um, you know, know what, you know, what our job is every night, um, you know, I feel like it's just going to continue to get better for us. How comfortable are you with the three-point shot? Oh, I, I've been comfortable with the three-point shot. You know, it's just me just buying into my role. You know, um, my role changed last year. So um, all it was was just buying in and doing everything I can for the team. So they wanted me to put a lot more pressure on the rim this year. And, Something I brought into because I'm a team player. I know one other thing that you know, coach wanted to look at down the stretch, and you commented on it, but having you and, and Marvin work in tandem, like, and now with Jeremy being shut down, we're going to see that probably with the final six games now. How much do you appreciate sharing the floor with Marvin to not only allow you to maybe step out and have a little yeah. more space, but but you can also help hit his game today? Um, you know, it's been great. Uh, I've never really played with another big man, so. You know, to be able to actually play with Marvin and, you know, see it work and see how it's going to work, um, you know, it's been great. You know, when I'm out there and, you know, it actually frees me up with some stuff. It frees him up with some stuff as well. Uh, last thing for me, as the Brooklyn was making their run, I think you guys were only down by five, but it felt like you guys just got a little tight, like you were worried the game might get away from you. Is that how it felt in the moment that you guys just didn't necessarily – it the, the the deficit wasn't as bad as it might have looked to you guys? Yeah, just – um. You know, that five probably felt like a more just because we know they have a lot of scores on that side. So, uh, you know, we just pretty much uh, knew that, you know, we couldn't, we had to stop the bleeding pretty much. Yeah. Coach, I know you said before the game, this is not vacation time. You know, it's how we finish the season. It's to get to the jump start on next year. Seems like the guys got the message uh, here tonight. What did you like most about the way you guys started? This well, I, like I told the team, I applaud the effort. You know, now we got to put thought into it, execution into it, doing the little things. I mean, maybe it's a, a foot better spacing, whatever it is, uh, post passing, uh, making sure we get our uh, switching games uh, crisp and under control where they don't get lobbed. So it's a little thing. And then on top of that, they shoot 34 free throws out so 13. And, um, you know, they get 31 points on free throws. And that, that's the ball game right there. And like I applauded the team, they kept their stars in for 39, almost 40 minutes to beat us. So that's respect. And uh, that's what we're going to jumpstart in going into next year with this type of play. And uh, guys, things that we made mistakes on, we'll learn from it. And we have learned from it. We've grown each time we've gone out, Johnny. And that's what you have to be proud of. And that's what, like I've always said in these last few games, gives me optimism. We're not getting rewarded with the wins, but the optimism and good play and effort is there. You have players, in particular young players, like a Cade, who could shut it down probably, you know, have just not feeling it. And instead says, I'm going to give it what I got. And he goes and ties the season high. Right. How much does that carry over, not just for him, but the rest of the guys? Well, that's a huge because he went out and he had hit his tail. He took a charge, which he didn't get the call, but he hit his he hit his tailbone and back and elbow and everything else. And he was in ice almost the whole first half and kind of got him in right there before halftime. But then he bounced back. So that tells me about a lot about that young man to bounce back the way he did, to come out and give us 34, the effort defensively that he had. Uh, like I said, he has it. Uh, but again, you know, we, we just got to make sure we take care of the, <laughs> of the little things as we grow as a team. And uh, like I said, I'm proud our guys could, uh, you know, throw in the towel, uh, and, uh, but they didn't. And, and you, we they played against a team who has a chance to win a championship. Isaiah Stewart now, back-to-back game, she's 67% from deep if we're just doing the math. Well, I know you said they'll fall in love with it, but do you love that he's showing confidence to take it and, and obviously the work that he's put into it? Johnny, and that's what I was talking about. Don't fall in love with it. 
and he's taking what's given to him, given to him, what the game gives to him. He spaced out there. The defender, Andre Drummond, is all the way back in the dots. Got to take that. And he made him pay for it. And again, he, he's playing it the, <laughs> the right way by doing that. And he's not like out there hunting threes, which uh, I'm proud of him for. And that's, like I said, he's going to be an excellent three point shooter uh, and keep defenses, defenses um, you know, sharp and smart and uh, keep them honest. And, uh, and I was really proud of Isaiah the way he played. <laughs> When the Nets made that run in the third quarter, it seemed like things started to get a little tight for you guys when they were only up five. Did you think that the team may be uh, out of fear of what Brooklyn can do in the offensive firepower, even though the, the point differential wasn't big, but it seemed like they got a little tight and were trying to play with a little more urgency than they needed? Well, they did play with urgency, and, and I, I thought we were playing with urgency, but the problem was I thought they ramped up our defense. We didn't need it, uh, which most great teams usually do, and we, what you have to do as a – a good team come out of the locker room, even though you got a lead, uh, and really put down the clamps and and make sure. But the problem was starting the second half, we we weren't getting stops. We didn't we weren't it didn't have our defensive intensity, James. But and what really was successful for us in the first half was our running game, and uh, we weren't getting stops. So we was walking the ball down the floor each time. And that's not a good recipe against this team. And we talked a lot about the future with this team, and I know you're very big on roles. But you look at tonight. For Killian to do what he did off the bench, aside from how well he scored the ball, four steals, I believe. Frank Jackson coming off in his role and, and sparking it up. And then Sadiq consistent, Isaiah stretching the floor, Kay taking over in the second half. Was this one of those games where you look, even though the, the result wasn't your guys' favor, you look around like this is what it could look like, everybody in the role as we grow and, and get into where we want to be? Well, James, the most important thing is how much we improved this summer. We got improved, we had some pieces, uh, high draft pick. And, you know, we have cap space that comes off our books. And uh, so that's what's encouraging to me. We, you know, to add to this group the right pieces, and then you add well, how we're playing right now is going to be huge. And, you know, I applaud our coaches working with the guys. I applaud the players for growing and getting better. I was, don't know what our numbers are after the All-Star break, but we've taken a big jump. Now we can't relax this summer and say, okay, no, we arrived. No, that doesn't automatically mean you arrive. We still have to put the work in leading into next year to get going. But it, I'm very optimistic with this group and adding the right pieces with them. What did you like best about Kate down the what do you like best about how Kate? Well, played? again, uh, so James, uh, Johnny asked, he was hurt. He played hurt. And uh, he's all iced up in there now. And I thought that was a big thing. I mean, he can come out and get 34, um, uh, you know, mo a lot of nights if he, you know, he searched himself, but he did it while he was injured, James. And I thought that was very admirable on his part. And that's the area of growth, you know, for a rookie to come in with his, you know, tailbone hurting and, and bruise and all that stuff, whatever it was, and, and still put up the numbers and play through it uh, says a lot about him. Mar, go ahead. Hey, Dwayne, I asked you about Braxton the other day, and you said he was getting more comfortable. And for him to have those key plays in the fourth quarter tonight, just what did you see from him? Well, he again, he's more comfortable. Uh, he, he's not your prototypical four man, but he can guard multiple positions, bigger guys. Um, he's fearless from that standpoint. But I thought, you know, offensively, he fit like a glove also. So, uh, he's getting more and more comfortable as he goes. And I think he was a plus what? Uh, plus, plus eight, I think he was. Plus five, I think it was plus five. So I thought he was really good for us off the bench with the second unit. Uh, and again, someone mentioned it. I thought he and Killian and, and, and Kelly really set the tone with our second group and kind of broke things open in the first half the way they played. And then before the, the game, and you said it before that you believe Kate should be rookie of the year, but just how many rookies in general have you seen that could just kind of step in, slow start but with the, the tailbone and then heat up and have a game like that? Right. It's, it's huge, y'all. And it says a lot about him. He easily could have set out the rest of the game, but he's a competitor. And like I said before the game, he is the rookie of the year talent-wise. Now, we're in a rebuild situation. Uh, it was planned. It's not like it's something that – and other teams are a step ahead of us that are, are touting their rookies, which is fine, they should. But uh, pound for pound, talent for talent, uh, I think Cade is that guy because again, he showed against the best team in the East, I think, um, that he has it. Uh, thank you.